when we, I guess, started to part ways was as a professional wrestler, you usually go through the evolution of characters. You may start off as a baby face, a good guy, and odds are somewhere along the line you've got to turn into the heel, the bad guy. And that's the evolution of the sport. You've seen Hulk Hogan wearing the yellow and red as being, you know, everyone's hero to him being an NWO wearing the black and white and having, you know, his face shadowed in with, uh, with what, what looked like a beard. But it was basically just whatever, make makeup from Halloween there is what took place. But he still had the white mustache to go with it. But that's the evolution of a professional wrestler. And when I first came on the scene, I was basically known as a baby face, just, just a no-nonsense kind of baby face. I didn't have to wear no ridiculous outfits. Matter of fact, I wore the same stuff from the Ultimate Fighting Championships. And uh, I didn't cut no any ridic ridiculous promos and that. Uh, and so now I've got one of the road agents pitching me an idea. We want to make you, we want to put 666 across your forehead. Mark of the Beast. We want to make you an Undertaker disciple and this, that. And as they're going on, I'm like, time out. Not going to happen. I live in small town, USA. I don't want to have any repercussions against my family, nor my businesses, nor me. I said, I want to know that I can have my family out to dinner and I'm not going to have some crazy youth pastor or something like that coming over there trying to sprinkle holy water on me because they're buying into a certain storyline here. I said, I already had some preconceived ideas of what I could do. Well, but I never got a chance to pitch my ideas. And then all of a sudden the road agent goes, you know, Dan, we could start using you poorly. I go, what does that mean exactly? He said, well, we could start having you lose matches. I go, that's true. You could ask me to lose a match. But then I pull out that contract. I go, where does it say on my contract I have to lose to anybody? What if I walk into your world of fantasy and turn fantasy into reality? Which one of your so-called stars or how many of your so-called stars am I going to make look pretty darn silly out there? And the Royal Rumble was coming up. And it even crossed my mind. WCW is still in existence. Maybe I'll go over and talk uh, to Eric Bischoff and to say, you know, when it's time for me to exit that ring, I'll turn fantasy into reality and I'll clear that ring just busting up everybody and their brother and then every 90 seconds waiting for fresh meat to come on down. Now, this is live. This is pay-per-view. Now, with sheer numbers, they'll get me out of that ring, but they haven't got me out of the arena yet. What could that have been worth for one night? I think easily a million plus dollars. But some people might not have ever booked me once again, but at the same token, maybe other groups would have booked me even that much more. Because I show people really what, what a word should be worth and not being uh, dicked over on things. There's, there's right ways of doing business and there's wrong ways of doing business. And I was being wronged and, and I know how I could have made it right. Yes. Things worked out amicably, I say financially, and they had to do that, that goofball gimmick because the reality is, had I done something like that, and then all of a sudden, the WWF would have dropped me, that's all people would have ever remembered of me. And I'm thinking, uh, it took me too long to build my legacy, to go out doing something like that. To me, it's like, I say, I, you know, even Vince made the comment, he goes, you know how much money you can make? I go, Vince, I already made money, that's not why I'm here. You know, the, the UFC had no type of notoriety. More people found out about the UFC. The UFC ought to be sending me uh, dividend checks because I've been one of their best goodwill ambassadors for continuing to spread the will about uh, mixed martial arts, about that company itself. 
And uh, but you know, like I said, I just I, I'm okay with all the business decisions and what I've done in my past.